Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rojai. Today we are going to learn about the topic of developing self-awareness. Please listen to the PowerPoint presentation and I will come back at the end of the presentation to highlight key points of the topic. Developing self-awareness. Agenda. Importance of self-awareness. Sensitive line. Emotional intelligence. Personal values and moral maturity. Learning style. Attitude toward change. Core self-evaluation. Following are the objectives of this chapter. To help you understand your own uniqueness as an individual. To help you diagnose, value and utilize the differences you find in other people. Why self-awareness is important. Self-awareness keeps an individual informed about his or her present capabilities and improvement areas. Self-realization is important to decide which management skills are acquired. Self-awareness is an important contributor in individual's growth. Sensitive line. Human has natural tendency to resist acknowledgement of negative aspects of their self-image. Sensitive line is a point at which individuals become resistive, defensive or protective when encountering information inconsistent about their self-image. Individual becomes less receptive once the sensitive line is crossed. To improve self-awareness, it is important to provide knowledge about oneself without crossing sensitive line. Two ways to improve self-knowledge are Providing verifiable, predictable, and controllable information. Self-disclose, so others can provide insights into your behavior. Diagnosing and understanding differences between co-workers improve collaboration and effectiveness at work. Discrimination should be avoided as it spoils healthy work culture and hinders self-discovery process. Five core aspects of self-concept are Core self-evaluation Values Learning style Attitude towards change Emotional intelligence Emotional intelligence Emotional intelligence helps to manage your temper in critical situations and develops empathetic approach to increase effectiveness at work. It is characterized by Ability to diagnose and recognize your own emotions. Ability to control your own emotions. Ability to recognize and diagnose the emotions displayed by others. Ability to respond appropriately to those cues. Values. Fundamental standards of desirability by which we choose between alternatives, assumptions about the nature of reality. Learned early, and continue to develop. Drive choices and behavior. Differ based on culture and environment. Cultural values. Broad, general orientations that characterize large groups. People with different nationalities have different prioritization of values, as nations have difference in culture. Cultural values help predict individual values and provide appropriate guidelines to deal with different people. Trompenar's value dimensions. Countries are differentiated based on seven dimensions of cultural values. Dimension 1. Countries following universalism. United States, Switzerland, Norway, Sweden. Countries following particularism. Korea. Venezuela, China, Indonesia. Dimension 2. Countries following individualism. United States, Nigeria, Denmark, Austria. Countries following collectivism. Mexico, Indonesia, Japan, Philippines. Dimension 3. Countries following effective. Iran, Spain, France, Switzerland. Countries following neutral. Korea, 
Ethiopia, China, Japan. Dimension 4 Specific Holland, Sweden, Denmark, United Kingdom. Diffuse China, Nigeria, Korea. Dimension 5 Achievement United States, Norway, Canada, Austria. Ascription Egypt, Indonesia, Korea, Czech Republic. Dimension 6 Past and Present France, Japan, United Kingdom. Future United States, Holland. Dimension 7 Internal United States, Canada, Austria, United Kingdom. External Czech Republic, Japan, Egypt, China. Trompenar's value dimensions. Below is the explanation of the values for the dimensions. Dimension 1. Universalism. Societal rules and norms are valued. Particularism. Individual relationships are valued. Dimension 2. Individualism. Individual contributions are valued. Collectivism. Team contributions are valued. Dimension 3. Effective. Showing emotions is valued. Neutral. Unemotional responses are valued. Dimension 4. Specific. Segregating life's roles is valued. Diffuse. Integrating life's role is valued. Dimension 5. Achievement. Personal accomplishment is valued. Ascription. Inherent attributes are valued. Dimension 6. Past and present. Past is tightly connected to future. Future. Future is disconnected but valued. Dimension 7. Internal. Individual control is valued. External. Control comes from outside forces. Rokiak. Two types of personal values. Instrumental values. Values related to the standards of method for achieving final goals. Example, broad-minded, capable, ambitious, clean etc. Terminal values. Values related to the desirable ends or goals. Example, a comfortable life an exciting life, a world at peace, equality etc. These values keep changing as maturity level increases. Kohlberg Value Maturity Model Three levels of maturity with six stages of development. Each stage represents improved maturity. Self-centered level Values are based on individuals' need or threat of punishment. Example, stealing money is not good as it may lead to punishment. Conformity level. Values are driven by social bindings or cautiousness about social status. Example, stealing money is not good as it is against the law and socially unaccepted. Principled level. Values are driven by principles or core values developed by individuals' experience. Example, stealing money is not good as it is against the individual's principles. Value-based decision-making Most of the times ethical decisions require trade-off between economical and social performance of the company. Person with principled level of maturity can handle these trade-offs effectively. Following are some tests of ethical behavior. Would I be comfortable if behavior was on the front page of the newspaper? Will my actions produce a good night's sleep? Learning style An individual's inclination to perceive, interpret, and respond to information in a certain way. Two key dimensions Manner in which you gather information. Way in which you evaluate and act on information. Learning styles. Concrete experience. Learn through practical experience. 
Abstract Conceptualization Learn through analytical and theoretical approach Reflective Observation Evaluation of information using logic, concepts and different perspectives Active Experimentation Evaluation of information by application on immediate problems and observing results Sample Scoring for LSI Below figure provides you with a scoring profile upon which you can plot your scores from LSI. On the figure, find the point on the vertical CE axis that corresponds with your score. Do the same for your RO score, your AC score, and your AE score. By plotting your score on each axis of the figure and joining those points together, you will have produced some kind of kite-shaped profile. This profile identifies your learning style. Sample scoring for LSI Diverging, high score on CE and RO. These type of people are good in idea generation and creation of alternative perspective. Assimilating, high score on RO and AC. These type of people are good at processing range of information and putting it into concise, cohesive and logical form. Converging, high score on AC and AE. These type of people are good at finding practical uses of ideas and theories. Accommodating, high score on AC and AE. These type of people are good at execution of challenging tasks. Attitude towards change, tolerance of ambiguity. The extent to which individuals are threatened by or have difficulty coping with ambiguity, uncertainty, unpredictability, complexity. Organizational environments are characterized by more and more information, turbulence, and complexity. Tolerance of ambiguity dimensions. Novelty. Extent of tolerance to new, unfamiliar situations. Complexity. Using multiple, distinctive, or unrelated info. Insolubility. Dealing with problems that are difficult to solve. Managers with high tolerance for ambiguity. They are more entrepreneurial in their actions. Screen out less information in complex environment. Choose specialties that are less structured. Cope more effectively with organizational change, downsizing, role stress and conflict. Locus of control. The attitude people develop regarding the extent to which they are in control of their own destiny. Internal locus of control. Individual considers self-actions responsible for his or her success or failure. External locus of control. Individual considers that external forces are responsible for success or failure. Most successful American managers have internal locus of control. Following are the high internal LOCs. Good involvement in work. More work satisfaction. Reduced strain at work. Prone to become leaders. Better performance in stressful situations. Use more persuasive power. Not good in following leaders' directions. Core self-evaluation. An extent to which individual possess positive self-regard. It consists of four components. Self-esteem. Self-efficacy. Emotional stability. Locus of control. Core self-evaluation. An important predictor of personality differences. High core self-evaluation means. Better job satisfaction. Improved performance at work. Happiness in life. Better social relationships. Conclusion
Self-awareness not only results into personal growth but also results into reduced conflicts and improved effectiveness at work. To become successful at work and in life an individual should focus on Improving emotional intelligence Improving positive self-regard Developing high tolerance toward change Analyzing learning styles and act accordingly Developing high values of maturity This chapter is a foundation chapter for all of us in life, especially for managers, since it deals with self-awareness and self-discovery. Remember, managing others start with managing yourself. I highly recommend you to read articles about how to better manage yourself. But you have to remember, each one of us have a unique way of self-management. So you need to discover your self-management process. Thank you for listening to the lecture today. And remember, you are the one in control of your life.